This is our jQuery basic structure. Uh, check boxes are used when uh, user has to select more than one options available. And check box can take two state, either checked or unchecked. Let us uh, use uh, check box here. You can see one check box we used and one display area we have used to display the status of the check box. Now this is our jQuery area. Here we will uh, enter our jQuery code. So let us first read the value. Let us say CKB is our, let us create a variable CKB status, which is equal to our uh, uh, checkbox. This is, we are using the ID CKB. You can see the ID here. We have declared it as CKB. So checkbox. So this ID is we used it as a selector and uh, we are collecting the checked status. So let us check. Now this status we are storing it in our variable ckb status fine. Now this uh, one thing we can do we can uh, store it uh, 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 declare one allot with this status. So let us see how this allot works. We will save it refresh this. Yeah false it is saying because we, we are not showing the uh, we are not checked it. Now, mm, let us say we will slightly move it this side, fine. This status we are, uh, suppose if you, we don't want a alert now, we want to display the value in our uh, display box. So there is a message area, we kept it here, it is available. So what we will do, we will access the ID of the display. This is the selector, then HTML, this part is equal to CKB status. Now, whatever the value of the checkbox, now let us keep it checked. And on these are all not associated with any event, this is on load event. Let me just refresh this, okay, fine. It's checked now and the value is true. We will collect the status of the checkbox anytime the uh, either we check or uncheck it. Now for that let us keep this code inside a function uh, or inside a event which, uh, which is associated with change event or checked event. CKB the ID of the checkbox now change uh, with change we will see the function now this Okay, let us complete this, close this here, fine, let us mark it. This is the part of the code which will be executed when we any change from check to uncheck or uncheck to check. Now this will read, we will display it, fine. Now this should work, see this is the code that will be executed whenever we change the status. Let us save it. And while on change, we are displaying the value of the status inside the our display area. Display area is marked here. So let us refresh this. Fine. Now it is checked because we, you see we have written here checked. Now let us uncheck it. Now let us again check it. Let us uncheck it. Let us again check it. So you can see the it reads the status of the checked status and display it uh, in the display box. So far we are reading the status of the checkbox. Now what you will do, we will read the status and assign the another checkbox status based on the original status of the first one. So we, we will learn how to assign the status to a checkbox this way. So let us uh, copy this, we will not keep it as checked, we will keep it as unchecked. Let us copy this, we will add one more checkbox, ID will make it uh, 2. So this is a different checkbox, we will come inside this value, okay, here we will write it. If our, uh, mm, sorry, this is the ID, if, uh, sorry, we have to read the value of the status, if CKB status means if ckb status is true then let's take 
the value for the our CKB2. CKB2 now prop property now checked checked is true. Now you see this is will close it here. If CKB status, then CKB2 properties will be checked. Now the reverse of it else. Now let us copy up to this. Else false. If it is not checked, then this will be false. So, and uh, anyway, we are status we are uh, displaying also in our uh, display box. So, let us cop save this, refresh. We have two now. See, the status is displayed, it is checked. So, second one got checked. Now, I will uncheck it. Okay, it is unchecked. Now, again, I will check it, it is checked. I will uncheck it. Okay, so this is how we will be uh, changing the, we will be reading the status from one checkbox and assign the status to another checkbox. We will learn how to add additional ad attributes and uh, read the values. Let us add a name, name let us say ABC. Fine, now let us uh, come back to some data attributes. Data attributes month name, let us say June. Now, um, say another data attribute that is equipment ID is equal to ABC123. Fine. Let us, uh, okay, now let us learn how we will receive these attributes. Now, instead of using a particular one, we will use the, uh, the let us say, alt any checkbox input type is equal to checkbox now uh, input type checkbox will close this now fine now this change function now status we already reading so we'll remove this else conditions now let us say where name name is equal to because we are using so we will use this where this attribute name so we got the name now now let us say um, status already we are getting let's try id where id is equal to our uh, again we will use this attribute id we already have id now one more now i will see the data attributes so let us say month name month will say month is equal to this data month name so already month name is there one more equipment id we have used so variable equipment id this data because it's a data attribute so we'll use equipment id now find all the variables we got it now let us display already status we are displaying here so let us say status plus because it's a variable so now again we'll start with the string and let us go to the next line fine here we are starting the string now let us display status we are displaying name name plus name so again name is over now let us say we will display id id plus id plus ok id we are displaying now let us go to month month now this is variable month now let us check up to this point so so far whatever it is we'll see some error is there now this status is name name 
आई डी आई डी मंथ मंथ लेट सी वॉट्स द एर इज मंथ नेम इज नॉट डिफाइंड फाइन मंथ नेम डाटा मंथ नेम मंथ नेम इज यूर सॉरी यू हैव टू यूज सिंगल कोट सीयर सिंगल कोट हीयर नाउ ओके लेट्स ट्राई नाउ अगेन ओके वी गॉट स्टैटस ट्रू दैट वी शुड गिव सम गैप हीयर डिस्प्ले स्टैटस सो बिफोर रिसीविंग नेम लेट अस गिव सम ओके स्टैटस इज ट्रू नेम ए बी सी आई डी सी के बी मंथ इज जून सो वी कैन सेव इट रन वन स्मो रिफ्रेस इट check it so we got the all the data we are getting now one more we left it because we have one equipment id so let us go to next line we'll see here the month so we'll give a plus now the string started equipment id now again plus oop id so equipment id also we'll get it now let us close this run this again some mistake month equipment id see e q p t e q p t id e q p t id fine the variable names are declared so let us check it okay we have got all the attributes name and its value equipment id is here its name its value is displayed here now we'll learn how to enable or disable a checkbox based on another checkbox so let us remove uh, all these extra attributes now this is a simple checkbox with id id is ckb now let us copy this paste it here id will ckb2 now i'm fine so now come back here here now again we'll come to our uh, selector of uh, ckb double quotes and now again change function so it is change function here now inside the change function you are reading the okay this line is fine now let us uh, this all these lines will remove now this html now here also we'll write status fine other things will remove okay this will display the status now based on this uh, whatever is value if ckb status now uh, if ckb status then so he will use this and now we'll change the status of our ckb2 that is the selector for uh, ckb2 is the selector for the second checkbox dot property now we'll say disable is true that means if it is checked then it will be disabled let us close the bracket now here we'll other function let's copy this now if else now let's paste this and make it false so now there are two things two check boxes if you first check box we check it this will be disabled and on check it the second check box will enable again let's save it run this code yeah we have two check boxes now both this one is i am able to uncheck or uncheck now let us check this now this is disabled i cannot uncheck now let us uncheck this i will keep this in checked condition now let us disable it it's disabled so by using this check box we are enabling and disabling the second check box from a group of check box we will collect the values of uh, checked check boxes to do this let us uh, create a set of check boxes we have created 1 2 3 4 5 the value you can see everything every values are different for five set of check boxes now let us come to the jquery part of it 
here we will change this because any checkbox changes its value we will be changing this input type checkbox input type checkbox change function now here um, we will remove these things this up to this will remove now let us say HTML also will remove this we will see what you will enter now input type checkboxes uh, any checkbox change function we have used let us come here first we will declare a blank string here we will be storing the values of the selected checkboxes now we will use each each function here now let me take the inputs which are checked input type is equal to checkbox now here the checkbox will close it but now you are taking checked checked so close this now thing do a function fine now this each will close it here fine now this is the each function inside this will collect the as our str value str is equal to str will give some space because between these two values of checkboxes will give some space plus this we are collecting then val val is here this is here okay fine so this is what we will collecting in the string now this let us save this run refresh this okay we have got five set of checkboxes now let us experiment okay two three still some issue is there let's see the error message no error why it is not displaying okay we are not gave the string value here okay we'll see str now let's see the refresh it again now let us one okay fine three five now let us uncheck this three now this two now here is two four three so all are checked now now we can remove also see how it is changing so this is all the values of the associated checkboxes we are collecting and displaying. We can use the class attributes to uh, get the values of the checked checkbox. Let us see that. Now this entire group will give a, a class is equal to let us say CKB. Now this is the class we assign to all the five checkboxes whatever we are using. Let us copy this place it here place it here now all the five have common class so we will access it so all the checkboxes which have the common classes now now here in the each here what you will do we will go for dot ck because we are accessing the class now we will show checkbox now checked let us put here okay so now we are accessing all the uh, checkboxes wh which are checked and having class as ckb so let us refresh this so you can see the still the same thing it works perfectly and we have used the uh, class attribute to assign a group of checkbox if you have different groups of checkboxes with having a particular class then we can use this